Hi, welcome to this new video about the SEPA instant credit transfer. This is the third video about clearing and settlement of the SCT instant. In the first video, we saw how transactions are settled directly in TIPS. In the second one, we learned how settlement works in CSM that do not use TIPS. In this video, the focus is the settlement of SCT in true TIPS. As we can see on the EPC website, here we have the list of clearing systems. The majority of them settle true TIPS. You see, for example, Banco de España, true tips, Banco de Portugal, true tips. So quite many of them settle through tips. It is therefore important to understand what the settlement through tips is and how it works. So stay tuned. This picture highlights how the settlement through tips works. You see the CSMs ACH1 and ACH2 between TIPS and the participants. We recognize the seven processing steps performed to settle a necessity instant in TIPS. But here the messages are exchanged between TIPS and the ACH and not directly with the participants. On this picture, it is assumed that both originator and beneficiary participants use ACH that settle through TIPS, but that may not always be the case. The receiving participants may be connected directly to TIPS. In that case, on the receiving side, the message will be exchanged directly with the beneficiary participants and not with its ACH. Another option is an originating participant sending directly to TIPS and TIPS exchanging the messages with the ACH of the beneficiary participant. Now, let's take a closer look at the participants and ACH. The originator participant or reachable party is known by both TIPS and its ACH. It is important to understand this. TIPS debits and credit accounts of participants, not account of ACH. A participant is an entity that has an account in TIPS and that account is used to settle SCT in transaction. That account can be debited or credited. The concept is quite similar to the one of direct participants. A reachable party does not have a TIPS account and must rely on a participant that allows him to use his account. The concept of reachable party is quite similar to the concept of indirect participants. We conclude with considering the ACH. ACH1 and ACH2 can be replaced by any CSM that settles through TIPS. In the picture, we see Deutsche Bundesbank here and Banco de Portugal, but you can replace them with any other CSM that settles through TIPS. Now, take note of these two important points. The money is transferred here in TIPS. It does not move neither in ACH1 nor in ACH2. The money, the fund transfer happens here in TIPS. So ACH1 and ACH2 act as instructing parties. They do not and are not allowed to have an account in tips. So they act like a bridge between the participant or the reachable party and tips. Very important. So that's what it means, the settlement through tips. At the end of this third video, you now have the keys to understand and explain all aspects of clearing and settlement of SCT instant. Watch the other two videos in case you did not watch them. That's the end of this presentation. Please like the video if you learned something and subscribe to the channel to get a notification when the next video becomes available. You can also go to permantor.com and subscribe to the newsletter to receive regular updates about articles and video. See you soon on Permantor TV.